Good morning, greetings friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado, registered pharmacist number 12275. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system. It's a regenerating system. It's designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we welcome your phone calls. If you want to wean wean yourself off or a loved one off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you there. Our number is 844-236-6010, If you have a success story you'd like to share or if you want to contribute to the conversation, again, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program, you can head over to brightsideben.com or to product right off the website. You can also go to my blog, pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com or to products right off the website. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the website as well. Or you can call the phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. And if you're interested in purchasing any of our Truth Treatment Skin Health products, including our Retinol 5% Gel or Truth Bomb, Truth Serum, all made with high concentrations of active ingredients, active and functional ingredients only, There's only active and functional ingredients when I'm formulating a product, a truth treatment product. There's no need for you to pay for water or filler or wax or silicon or oil or preservative or fragrance. It's a ripoff. It doesn't serve you. It only serves the people who are selling you the product, and that's just flat out not fair. Not to mention the fact you really want to rub a preservative all over your skin. More and more we're learning about the toxicity of preservatives, how they get into the blood through the skin, parabens, formaldehyde formers, perfumes. Now there's a problem with oils, heated oils and processed oils can actually enter into the blood through the skin. That's the latest research. Hydrogenated should never be seen on your ingredient deck. There's so many ways we interact, interface with crapola, toxicity, waste, stuff you don't want to put on your skin when we apply a typical moisturizer or anti-aging product. But you're not going to have to deal with any of that with your truth treatment products. I don't know why, any, I don't know why anyone would use anything less. In fact, I developed the truth treatment products because these were the products I was using for myself. And I could, I had a lab. I could use anything I wanted. I was just going right to the, right to the shelf and, and uh, putting the, the vitamin C and the retinol right on my skin. I didn't need the water and the wax and the filler, and neither do you. You can find out all about it at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, we're talking EFAs, essential fats, fats in general, omega-3s, omega-6s. All as it regards skin health, all as it regards skin hormone health, the skin is a major site of hormone production, a major site of hormone effects, and I'm talking all hormones, testosterone and cortisol and estrogen, all have major effects on the skin. And then there's the little mini hormones, the, the temper or the quick acting hormones, the eicosanoids, the inflammation hormones, they're actually activated EFAs, as we said, they are the control control factors for inflammation and anti-inflammation and everybody knows certainly if you've been listening to this program that anti-inflammation equals anti-aging and inflammation equals aging they're both important of course but for the most part excesses or imbalances and inflammation versus anti-inflammation are the key elements of the aging process and the disease process in general omega-3 fats are broken down and activated I should say into anti-inflammatory hormones eicosanoids omega-6s into inflammatory ones 
boost your omega-3s. That's really the take-home message here. You need them both, but most of us are getting oils, anyway, that contain omega-6s, and boosting your omega-3s is a very, very important strategy. I was just reading about a fish oil, a sori oil. You know, fish oil is very interesting. It's not really strictly an essential fatty acid-rich oil. It has omega-3s in it, but not necessarily EFAs. Nonetheless, fish oil is incredibly helpful, especially for the skin because of its anti-inflammatory benefits. And uh, making sure you're using fish oil is a great way to get your omega-3s. Another great way to make, get your omega-3s is to use one of my all-time favorite supplements that nobody ever talks about as an all-time uh, all nutritional supplement. Everybody talks about this stuff as a sleep aid. It's melatonin. But really, melatonin is a supplement. Not essential, of course. It is a hormone. But amazing, amazing, amazing hormone. I've personally been taking six milligrams or so, sometimes more, uh, nightly for a few years. And i got to tell you, melatonin is amazing for sleep. Now, if you're dealing with chronic insomnia, Melatonin may not help you, and there are folks who take melatonin and say, well, that didn't help me. Well, that's because your body doesn't want you falling asleep. If you have chronic long-term insomnia issues, you've got a major stress response going on in the body, and melatonin can be helpful, but it's not necessarily going to work to put you to sleep, or if it does put you to sleep, you may wake up in the middle of the night. Your body doesn't want you to fall asleep. You can't trick the body. You can drug the body, but you can't necessarily trick the body. You can drug the body with a sleeping pill, but then you're going to have to deal with all that, all those problems, all, all the side effects and addiction, etc. Melatonin can help folks who not ne don't necessarily have insomnia, but just want to get a really, really good night's sleep, or you want to get some good dreams. Melatonin is amazing for dreams. It's located, it's produced in the, the pineal gland, located in the middle of the brain, and the pineal gland. Oh man. You want to talk about spectacular, the pineal gland is this tiny, tiny little piece of tissue right in the middle of your brain that uh, the philosopher Descartes called the seat of the soul. I don't know how he knew this, but as it turns out, he was maybe not all that incorrect because the pineal gland is how processes chemicals, processes hormones, DMT, if you've heard of that, melatonin, serotonin, that are responsible for consciousness for how we see the world. So yes, and you can make a case that the pineal gland is the seat of the soul. The pineal gland makes melatonin. And melatonin, while it's important for sleep, is much more important as a general bodily supplement. Everyone knows about melatonin for sleep, but did you know that melatonin can help your hair grow? Melatonin can help your skin look better. Melatonin can help your pigment look better. Melatonin can help your heart burn. Melatonin has anti-cancer effects. Melatonin is anti-aging. And there's a relationship between melatonin and serotonin. Melatonin is, is natural Prozac. Melatonin is natural Prozac. Yes, instead of acting like a a reuptake inhibitor, which basically poisons reuptake. Remember, whenever you hear the word inhibitor, think poison. Think, think shutting down. Think toxicity. A serotonin reuptake inhibitor poisons reuptake. Melatonin is a natural way to boost your serotonin without affecting reuptake. And for that matter, serotonin also increases melatonin. They have this balancing out relationship with each other. Serotonin is converted to melatonin and vice versa. Melatonin is converted to serotonin. In the daytime, you get a big hit of serotonin. That's why I always say it's helpful to go, when you get up in the morning, go right to the window, look right at the sun. The sun is what converts that melatonin into serotonin. Go right to the sun. Oh, you don't want to look right in the sun. That'll hurt your eyes. Baloney. You want to look right in the sun. Now, you don't want to burn your eyes, of course, but you want to look right in the sun. Looking right in the sun will turn all that melatonin into serotonin. And because serotonin gets converted the other way to melatonin, you'll help your melatonin, uh, you help your body make melatonin as well. Now, that's what's supposed to happen, by the way. As we get older, that doesn't happen as well. And this is one of the reasons why older folks have insomnia, why older folks have anxiety issues, jitteriness issues. It has something to do, it has a lot to do with cortisol and stress and degeneration, but it has something to do with this relationship between melatonin and serotonin. I'm not saying melatonin is some kind of magical sleeping pill, by the way. If you have enough stress hormones going on, if you've got enough cortisol in your body, you're not falling asleep. All right, melatonin's also got some interesting roles to play for the digestive tract. I'll tell you what that is when we come back from our break, and then we'll talk skin and melatonin. You're listening to The Bright Side. If you're like... Thank you for listening to GCN.
Visit GCNlive.com today. All right, we're back on the bright side. I am Pharmacist Ben. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 at 2 11 Central Time, 24 7 on our archive page at brightsideben.com. You'll also find the longevity products, the Healthy Start Pack, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, all at brightsideben.com. And you can sign up to join the Brightside Ben team off the website, brightsideben.com. You can also call the phone team, 866 735 2470. And you can also check out my blog, PharmacistBen.com, CriticalHealthNews.com, PharmacistBen.com, or CriticalHealthNews.com. We update both regularly with news stories as well as blog posts, and you can order products off the site as well, or just sign up to join the, the Brightside Ben team right off the websites too. Okay, we're talking uh, essential fats and hormones and, and melatonin. I love this stuff. It's so cheap. You're talking, I don't know, man, five bucks for 90 93 milligram sublinguals will cost around five bucks or so. That's crazy. Absolutely crazy for something that's this beneficial. Now, I'm not saying it's a cure all, but certainly it's got multiple benefits for anti aging, anti cancer, hair, skin, digestive system. It's been used to uh, reduce um, uh, the symptoms of GERD, gastroesophageal reflux disease. That is a miserable, miserable condition, especially at night. Can you imagine this? Wait, some folks can't go to sleep. They have chronic heartburn, chronic splashback of acid coming up through the esophagus. And over the course of time, damage can occur to the esophagus. And, it, it, and by the way, if this, is, this sounds familiar, if this is you, think foods and digestion, heartburn, GERD, these are all digestive health issues and they're miserable experiences that nobody has to have. Melatonin in high concentrations has been used for folks who have GERD. Six, but I'm talking high concentration, 16 milligrams or so. You might want to try that if, you're, if that's something you're dealing with, or at least look it up. Look, uh, look up melatonin and GERD. Melatonin slows down the proliferation of cancer cells. It can actually kill cancer cells. It inhibits the blood supply to cancer cells. This is one of the strategies for dealing with tumors is to inhibit their blood supply. And it turns out that melatonin can actually do that can slow down the, the nourishment to tumors, the, the circulatory system nourishment to tumors. Melatonin can balance out estrogen. Estrogen's pro-cancer. Well, melatonin can help balance out or, or antagonize or block those uh, pro-cancer effects that estrogen has. And melatonin is an awesome skin hormone. Melatonin actually refers to the word mela, melanin, tonin, tonin control or regulation. Melatonin is a pigment regulating hormone. Its, it's name tells you that. And it has a very important role in skin health and in the health of your hair. According to a 2008 article in the Journal of Pineal Research, melatonin actually can increase hair growth and melatonin, melanin tonicity. It can actually improve hair pigmentation also. In fact, you can think of melatonin as a general hair and hair pigment or hair color tonic. Hair is made up like nails, like our nails, same protein, keratin, same stuff that makes up your fingernails and for that matter feathers and hooves and horns in nature, shells, hard tissue in nature is keratin. In, in biological systems, I should say. Keratin is a biological in animals. In, uh, uh, let's see, uh, rhino horns and, and antlers and fingernails, toenails, these are all keratin. Keratin is given, it gets its uh, firmness or its hardness, it, it obtains its hardness from the mineral sulfur, and sulfur deficiency is surprisingly common. Sulfur depletion from the soils is a, is a surprisingly common issue. You don't hear about sulfur deficiency that much. If you have thinning nails, maybe you're dealing with a sulfur deficiency. Sulfur is absorbed in the digestive system, in the uh, intestine, and you need to have uh, not just a fully functioning intestine, but you need to have some acid going on in your stomach. You need to have enough stomach acid. You can use the, su the supplement MSM. MSM is actually a usable form of sulfur. It's a natural form of sulfur. It's the best form of sulfur that's not in foods, that is. It's the best form of supplemental sulfur. You'll get your MSM and your Healthy Star Pack and your Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Now, hair and nails and hooves and rhino horns and all that stuff, uh, antlers, it's actually dead stuff. When that stuff's coming out of your body, it's dead. This is one of the reasons why fungal infections will occur in the nails. 
the body is actually attempting to excrete the fungus with the dead nail to the body.